Bulgarian training bag. I get a lot of people that want to know how to make these or they want me to make them one or you know something like that. Um, they are a super workout tool. You can pick one of these bags up, get a full body workout without putting it down and be flat out exhausted in five to ten minutes. I mean it, it, it will wear your can out. So um, I'm going to show you how to take that right there again tire tube from local mom and pop shop and went up there i said hey do you have any old used tire tubes they reached in the trash can pulled that out and uh gave it to me you might have a hard time finding one uh because it's not as common as it once was but if you have a hard time finding it you can ask them hey if you get some will you put them to the side for me and usually they won't have a problem with that so we're going to take this and turn it into that uh the the retail ones have handles and all kinds of stuff on them and things like that you know right here as opposed to just duct tape handles for grips i don't have that i just try to use my grip it strengthens it and uh, i try not to rely on any kind of strap so basic design and i'll show you how to put that together
This happens to be a particularly large tube, so um, if you have a really, if, if the, uh, tube, the, the tube that you got was uh, bigger than like a standard tube, you may want to mix in some bark or some mulch or something in with your sand because you get to be extremely heavy. A, uh, uh, the one that I that you saw in the other end, uh, up next to this one, weighs about 42 pounds, and that's a uh, it's a pretty heavy bag for someone, especially for someone that's starting out. If you've been working out and you're uh, uh, pretty well conditioned and you're strong, then that's fine, and you can uh, build this on up to uh, uh, 60 pounds or more, something like that. I'm not sure what this will end up being. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with sand, but I want to let you know that you mix in a little bit of bark. Uh, some mulch, um, I don't know, about anything you can fill it up with that'll be fairly soft. It'll do the trick. But um, just wanted to throw that little piece of information in there. Okay, so I cut out all the boring stuff with uh, me just filling the bag up and brought out my handy dandy bathroom scale out here and I just weighed my other bag that I told you weighed 42 or 43 pounds and turns out I was wrong it weighs 38.8 pounds so now I have this bag full um, got enough for a handle left over right here and uh, I'm just gonna weigh it before I put it all together to give me an idea of what I've got and lay it right well, let me turn the scale on. Lay it right there. Fifty-eight pounds. So, twenty pounds difference between this bag and that bag. So now, I will finish wrapping it up. Now, since it is rubber, you'll want to uh, really make sure that all of your sand is close to that handle down there as you can get it. Because it's going to stretch and be real springy. But at the same time, you want to give it a little bit of cushion for whenever you, you're flinging it around. So, I'm going to go with that. And it will stretch some after you you begin using it, especially with a lot of weight in there, like this one. Uh, but if you make one that's only about 20 pounds or something like that, and uh, just for your information, the retail ones go up to a maximum of, I think, about 33 pounds. So it does not require a great deal of weight. And got a good bit of slack right there. I'm just gonna cut it off. Got enough for my hand. I'm gonna cut this little bit off right here. There you have it. So, fifty eight pounds, thirty eight 
38 pounds, longer training bags. And, uh, fantastic workout tool.